All right, guys, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. The kids are off school, so I am joined by Phoebe. Hello. And Chloe. Hello. It's one of the last recipes for Cookie Month, which you guys have been loving. A selection are on the screen right now. And what have we just made? Anzac biscuits. Anzac biscuits, that's right. These are named after the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, right, Chloe? Yeah. You knew that, didn't you? Uh, apparently, these were rations in World War One, and they're really popular, and loads of you guys wanted to see it. So, if you'd like to have a go, hit pause on the video when Chloe makes the sound of a dog chasing a pigeon. That was an amazing impression. Give me five. All right, I'm loving that. So the ingredients are also in the description box down below. The full method is on my website. Uh, Phoebe has had a little taste already. What did you think they taste like? Um, they taste really nice and sweet. Mm. So this is how we did it. So the first step we did was actually an adult step. So I sat some butter into a saucepan over a low flame just to melt it up. With the butter melted, I took it off the heat and passed it to Phoebe, didn't I, mate? Yeah. And what did you scrape in there? I scraped in some golden syrup. Yes, we did. A tablespoon of golden syrup. Uh, you could also use corn syrup, if you like. Then we had a glass of boiling water. And Phoebe, what did you tip into that glass? Um, bicarbonate of soup. She can't say it. Try it. Bicarbonate of? Bicarbonate. Bicarbonate of soda, guys. <laughs> yeah. Bicarbonate of soda. Yes! Give me five, you did it. All right, so that goes in there, a little mixy mix, and then where did you pour that? Um, I poured it into the pan. Poured it into the pan with that butter and syrup mixture that's already in there. Get it in there, nice little stir around. Then it was Chloe's turn. What did you do, mate? I get the ingredients in the empty bowl. That's right, so you had one big master bowl, didn't you? And all the yeah. dry ingredients. What did you do? You tipped it in? Yeah, and I mixed it. You did, you tipped it all in there, mixed it together until all those dry ingredients were fully combined. Then it was just a case of adding the wet into the dry mixture. So I did that pouring bit just because it was still a little bit dangerous. And then you guys, what did you do? We stirred it through. You did stir it through. Did you have a go, Chloe? Yeah! And what was it like? It's like, I taste a, I taste a little bit. Then she it, did. And, and it was a little bit disgusting. Bit disgusting? It wasn't disgusting. It you was, liked it. It was a little bit disgusting. A little bit disgusting. These guys were loving it, trust me. So then it's just a case of getting a lined baking tray. And then what do you do with that then, Phoebe? You get a spoonful of it, you make, you roll it up into a ball, you print, lace it on the tray, and you push it down gently to make it be flat like a biscuit. Amazing, so make sure they're well spread apart because when you bake them, they will spread. Put them in the oven for around about nine minutes at the temperatures on your screen right now until they're nice and golden brown. Transferring them to a wire rack just like this to fully cool down. I haven't actually tried one yet. They smell like popcorn to me. What do they smell like to you? They smell like gingerbread. Gingerbread? Yes! Give me five. I think they're going to end up eating all of these, right? No. No? Why not? Yeah, I'm sick. Oh, Chloe wants to decorate some with some pink icing. So we will be doing that. That's it then, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know down below any other recipes you want to see. Check out my last two videos on the screen right now. But that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, say bye then, guys. Bye. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.